Welcome to Let's Make Dinner, your audio library of amazing dinner recipes you can get on the table any night of the week. I'm your host, Susie Weinrich. You guys, today we are not talking about dinner. Today we are talking about margaritas. I mean, I'm a little nervous to make this episode because I love margaritas so much and I want you to love margaritas. And I want to make sure I'm conveying all of my tips and all of my tequila knowledge to you so that you can make the ultimate tequila cocktails all year long. Let's get into some tips for making the very best margaritas you can possibly make. I, I'm talking, okay, let me, let me go over this first. I like a margarita that is very limey, that is a little tequila forward that has just just a hair of sweetness so that it balances the tartness of the lime. I've had margaritas that are way overly sweet that make you <sighs> like have that lemonade throat. I've had margaritas that have no sweetness and the lime almost burns your throat. That is not what you want. You want just such a beautiful balance of flavors that you can taste each one and each one is beautiful and delicious and not harsh. All right. If that doesn't make you want a margarita, I don't know what will. My mouth is watering and I'm going to have to have margaritas tonight. So let's get started with this. First tip, you want to use kosher salt on the rim of your glass. This is not the time for your iodized table salt. You definitely want the kosher salt. It's going to be a little bit milder in saltiness. It's not going to be chemically like an iodized table salt, and it's going to have that nice, crispy, larger texture that you want around the rim of your glass. Next tip, use fresh limes. Do not think you're going to game the system and use the pre-squeezed lime juice that comes in a bottle. That is unacceptable if you're going to have a margarita. If, you, if you're going to do that, then just go ahead and buy the, the jar of pre-mixed margarita mix. We're talking fresh margaritas here. The next tip is to get yourself a good cocktail shaker. It makes all the difference in the world when you're actually making a mixed drink. If you're just having like tequila soda or you're having vodka soda, you don't need a shaker. But when you have more than two ingredients, you want that shaker to get everything mixed together with a few ice shards. And it's just, it's magic. I will link in the show notes the shaker that I use and that I love. Actually, I have two that I really love. One that's more of a professional shaker that has the kind of shaker in shaker, and then one that is really pretty that's a glass shaker that has an easier to remove lid. The last tip is the tequila. You want to use a silver tequila here. In a classic lime margarita, silver tequila is what you want. This is also called Blanco tequila. It's going to be the clear bottle of tequila on the shelf. When you're making a margarita, it's okay to just have a mid-level price-ranged tequila. I like to use a Jose Cuervo Tradicional. I like Cazadores. I like Espolón. I also love Casamigos, but that's a pretty high price point and isn't totally necessary to make a good margarita. Now that you have all of my delicious tips, let's get on to making a margarita. <laughs> Here's what you're going to do. You're going to start by preparing your glass. You're going to take about an 8 to 10 ounce glass. I'm not a big fan of the, the stemmed margarita glasses. I like to make my margarita just in like an 8 to 10 ounce rocks style glass. Go ahead and rub a lime wedge around the rim of the glass, or you can dip the rim in agave or honey. Then put a little bit of kosher salt on a flat plate, turn your glass over and dip the rim into that kosher salt. Turn it back over and fill your glass with ice. You'll set that aside because now we're going to make our margarita in the shaker. And let me tell you, if you don't have a shaker, but you still want to make this margarita, you can even use a mason jar. It's glass, so be careful when you shake it up, but it, it still works. Place a few cubes of ice in the cocktail shaker, and you're going to add one and a half ounces of silver tequila, one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, one ounce of, of triple sec. I use a Cointreau, and then a quarter ounce of agave. 
That's just enough to give your, your drink just a little bit of sweetness. And I like to use the light blue agave, or sometimes it's just called light agave. It's a little less flavor forward than the darker agave that you see on the store shelf. Pop the lid on your shaker and shake it up for a good 20 to 30 seconds. Then you're going to strain it right into that prepared glass that we made earlier with with the salt rim. Garnish it with a lime wheeler wedge, and that's it. Oh my gosh, your margarita is ready. Take a drink. It's so delicious. Sometimes I like to also top my margarita off with just like a splash or two of soda water. If you're having more than one margarita, you could certainly rim your glass again. But sometimes on the second, maybe even third margarita, I will just take a pinch of kosher salt and sprinkle it into the margarita and stir it around instead of having to rim my glass every single time. Now set out some chips and salsa and go enjoy your margarita. And if you would like a printable version of the recipe, I will put a link right in the show notes for you. Until next time, I hope this episode of Let's Make Dinner makes your cocktail time a little sweeter. Cheers. Wasted away again in margarita veil.